Welcome back to Sports Center. Our centerpiece today on The One, the fight in Vegas tomorrow night and what it means for boxing. You've got the up and coming Canelo Alvarez with his unbeaten record against the 36 year old Floyd Mayweather with his unbeaten record. They call Mayweather money. We learned in ESPN the magazine this week that Mayweather has $123 million in his checking account. He may pull up to the teller Monday morning and deposit a little bit more, set to make a record $41.5 million tomorrow night. A lot of money for what some call a dying sport. We drill down deeper on that topic with our boxing crew anchored by Robert Flores. Robert. David, thank you. Las Vegas, Nevada, a city that knows how to host and throw big events, a city of hope, city of spectacle and electricity, and all on display Saturday night inside the MGM Grand Arena in Las Vegas for Floyd Mayweather against Canelo Alvarez for the Junior Middleweight Championship, a fight that they're calling the one. As David mentioned, this centerpiece deals with the sport of boxing. Robert Flores joined alongside light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins, our boxing analyst Teddy Atlas, and ESPN.com boxing insider Dan Rayfield. Bernard, let me start with you. As a fighter that's still actively within the game, for those that say this fight, is the one that's going to quote unquote save boxing. You say what? I say that's insane. I think boxing is at a good place right now. There's so many outlets for fighters to build them, they record up and become superstars. Listen, Canelo had done the same thing. He come up through certain undercards and build himself up. We got the chance to see him come up and now he at this big stage. Boxing is well alive and this is a, a prime example come tomorrow on Showtime how great this is. Dan, I saw your eyes roll when you heard the, the phrase dying sport. How come? Because I hear the same nonsense all the time, Robert. It's like, it's just a lazy and ignorant narrative. There are so many good fights in this sport, and, and this fight in particular happens to be the biggest one of all. You cannot tell me that a sport is dying when in one single night, in the span of a few hours, it's gonna probably tomorrow night generate over $200 million. That's more than any sporting event maybe, but the Super Bowl, and you're talking about a sport that's dying. Now, not every sport generates $200 million in a given night, but there's a lot of them that put on big events, big sold out arenas, good TV ratings, and I agree with Bernard. I'm sure I'm gonna agree with Teddy. To say boxing is dying is just ignorant and lazy. Teddy, let me ask you this. How important is this fight tomorrow night for the future of the sport? Well, first of all, boxing's been around 200 years, depending on where you trace it back to, to the Greeks, whatever. It's been around basically almost as long as him. And, <laughs> I mean, so it, it, it's not going anywhere. Uh, there's a reason why boxing watch, has people come and watch it, because everything in this world is uneven. And on one given night, no matter what your background, no matter what you didn't have, forget about what you had, and somebody had more than you, and maybe it was unfair, but that's the way it was. On one given night, if you're determined enough, if you're prepared enough, if you're brave enough, you can make the world even. You can be world champion. And that's why people watch boxing, and people will continue to watch boxing, and that's why we're here for this big event. And that's why I could break a record for, for pay-per-view buys for, uh, for Showtime tomorrow night. This is such a grand spectacle. Floyd Mayweather has obviously been on this stage before. Canelo Alvarez, he's certainly a huge star, especially in his home country of Mexico. But is it possible for this fight to live up to all the hype, to all the spectacle and all the coverage it's been getting? Oh, absolutely. I mean, as of now, it's been reported the gate bring, brought in $20 million already estimate they're gonna, that's going to bring in. I mean, just with the crowd outside, hey, hey, it was hey, eight hey, this hey. morning. Um, huge crowd. The weigh-in is at 3 o'clock. It's hours before that happens. Yes. Um, I think it's going to break the De La Hoya and Mayweather's record that they set. And I think it's also going to set a stage for big fights to come. Dan, what would be the best result for the sport of boxing as a whole tomorrow night? I think the best result for the sport is it doesn't really matter which guy wins. It's about whether we get a good fight. People want to see a good fight. If, if Mayweather wins the way he often does and, and looks good boxing, you know, Canelo's ears off, but it's an entertaining fight. Canelo's pressing forward. That's a good result. If Canelo Alvarez pulls the upset, you know, so be it. People will be excited about that, too. But the most important thing to get those people that are going to spend their 75 bucks or 65 bucks on the pay-per-view tomorrow is to give them a good fight, something they can, when they turn off the TV set, they're happy about it. But with that fight, as well as a great undercard fight, by the way, between Lucas Matisse and Danny Garcia for the Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Yeah, we could see Matisse or Garcia, the winner of that, maybe eventually fight, fight Floyd Mayweather if, in fact, he's able to prove to be victorious tomorrow night against Canelo Alvarez. Teddy, let me ask you this. You're a man that knows the history of the sport very well. If Floyd Mayweather is able to complete his Showtime contract undefeated and runs his record to 49-0, and 0, equaling Rocky Marciano, 
Does that make Floyd Mayweather the greatest boxer of all time? No, I mean, Chavez got to almost 100 and all. I mean, you guys forget that people have gotten past 49 and all, just no heavyweights. And no heavyweight retired, and no fighter has yeah. retired undefeated, as I have to speak over this guy who's testing the mic for the big event tomorrow night. See, it's a big event. Everyone's getting ready. Look, Marciano's the only fighter to retire undefeated, but like I said, Chavez, there's been other fighters, Roberto Duran, there's been other fighters that have gone past 49 and 0. So, no, does that make him the greatest fighter of all? No, this has a real deep history a very deep history it definitely makes him one of the greatest fighters and one of the richest fighters and one of the better known marquee fighters of his time dan where does floyd rank among your all-time greats right now well i don't like to put an all-time mark on a guy when he's still active especially when he might have another four five six fights left in his career but i think it's uh it's very easy to say floyd is maybe not the greatest fighter of all time although he says he is but he's certainly in that top 10, 15 category at this point, I think. All right, Bernard Hopkins will fight on October 26th in Atlantic City against Carl Murat for Bernard's light heavyweight championship. That will be on Showtime. Bernard, good luck next Thank month, you. and thanks for joining us. Thank you. This is the scene right now. Fans have been lining up outside the arena as early as last night just to get into the weigh-in, which Sports, Sports, Sports Center will bring you live coverage a little bit later this afternoon, 6 o'clock Eastern Edition on Sports Center. It's part of this gigantic sports weekend, the one Mayweather versus Alvarez. We will have coverage from the MGM Grand with Robert and our boxing crew all the way up through the fight and post-fight as well.